Now the RF signals travel as waves. For example, this is a signal which is in the form of a sine wave. And this wave repeats itself after one cycle. For example, from here to here we have a cycle after which this wave is repeating itself. Or we can also take a cycle from here to here between these two peaks. Now the distance that is traveled by a wave during one cycle, it is called as the wavelength and it is denoted by lambda. And the number of cycles that are traveled by a wave during a second, it is called as the frequency f. So number of cycles per second of a wave is called its frequency. Now the wavelength and the frequency are related to one another using this formula where v is the speed with which this wave is traveling. So if we have the value of the wavelength and we have the value of the frequency, then we can easily calculate the speed using this relation. Now the speed with which a wave travels, it depends upon the medium. For example, when talking about the RF signal, and if this RF signal is traveling through the free space where there is no electric or magnetic field, then this RF signal will travel with the speed of light. But if this RF signal is traveling underwater, then the speed of this RF signal would decrease. 